guys, a big warm welcome back to my channel. Today I am very pleased to announce that this is the start of my house tour series. I know this is probably one of my most heavily requested videos, so you will be pleased to know that this is the start of it. I thought I would give you a bit of a background on our house first and foremost. So Fraser and I moved into this house about four years ago and we knew it was going to be a work in progress from the get-go. It was very old-fashioned, needed new carpets, new bathroom, new kitchen. Basically the entire house had to be a shell and we had to start all over again. So I don't think there's one room in this house now that we've not touched. So what I'm going to do is start off with my kitchen because I feel like that is the room that is the most finished although there are a few things that I actually want to now replace in the kitchen or add on but we'll do them at a later date. We'll do first a tour of the kitchen and I'm hoping to upload one video a week of every room so that hopefully we get a full series of my house. So it would be best to show you this in a kind of vlog style so I hope you enjoy it. So first of all guys, it's got to be noted, we have a very unorthodox layout in this house. Just because we wanted to make the most of the space that we've actually got, we don't have a massive house, it's just a fairly standard size, but the rooms are quite awkward shapes and long angles, so we wanted to make the most of them just as much as we could. As you can see, this is our front door here in the hallway, and what we used to have here was a door that led into our living room, but we actually plastered all of that up and just made it a full hallway. The hallway is a work in progress, and when that is done, we will show you a full kind of finished layout of what the hall looks like but we don't even have a banister yet so it's not done. This right here is another door frame which had a door in it which we've taken away but we will plan on replacing that but for the moment it is kind of open plan and then when you walk in this door and pan over to this side we had another door so we had one door as you came in the front into the living room and then another door into the living room so we thought it is a bit unorthodox to walk through your hallway into your kitchen then into your living space but for us it just worked best because it meant that we could get what we wanted in the living room which I'll show you at a later date. It will all start to make sense, I promise. So we have replaced all the internal doors or we have painted them white. They were actually all mahogany, the upstairs ones were white but we replaced this one to a white door with these sort of panes which I actually regret. I'm going to actually be changing these internal doors to half glazed just purely because when you've got two kids and a dog these are a nightmare to clean. They look beautiful but you're there forever and then you've got the other side to do. Nightmare. So behind you is our hallway and then up towards here is all the kitchen stuff. On the subject of blocking up doors, we also used to have a door here which was our back door to the back garden. We've got an extension on the back of the house. So this door was actually blocked up completely and the back of that wall is actually now a utility room which is really good. So it means we could save space in here by not having big appliances like our washing machine and the tumble dryer so that we've got more cupboard space. So that, <laughs> so that there used to be a door. It was a door, a door and a door. It was doors everywhere so we blocked this one up as well and we made this a unit here so we can have our hob and extractor etc on here. We bought our kitchen from the kitchen depot and it is just a white high gloss integrated kitchen with silver handles and grey accents as well. I just love how gorgeous the high gloss looks. It actually should look like a nightmare to clean but do you know what? It's actually easier because you can see where all the dirt is. If you're planning on getting a kitchen I would absolutely recommend getting an integrated microwave. It's been a lifesaver for us because it saves you countertop space which we are really lacking in this house. So we have our integrated microwave and also double oven. This is good if you're planning on having loads of parties or guests over or even things like Christmas dinner because you've got two separate little ovens and then the big one down below here. We've also got a pull out drawer at the bottom here which has got all our Tupperware and like protein and things that are just all odds and ends that are really difficult to fit in any other drawer. And everything we've got here is all soft closing so it means when we close doors nothing actually bangs. All of the appliances we have are Beko and they've all come with a two year guarantee which is really good. And then just beside that we've got our fridge free which I actually went for the three quarter fridge and quarter freezer just because I've also got a freezer in the garage as well so I don't need two big size freezers I can do with the half one in here just for the essentials so obviously our fridge oh hello look at the moe <laughs> we don't always have moe next to the milk just to say that <laughs> that's been because I was wedding dress shopping on Saturday and it was successful so we cracked open the moe and then at the bottom is our little freezer, which again isn't massive, but there's three drawers in there. It's quite handy. We've also got a pulley up here, storage, which we put like all our documents in, which is really handy. And then opposite from that wall, we've got but first coffee and also a pineapple print, both from Desenio and Ikea frames. I absolutely love some art in the house, and I think that these are just a perfect addition to our kitchen, just to make it look a little bit more quirky and a bit more stylish. We could also just change these up as well if we start to get sick of the prints, because they're easy easily removed, they're just on there with hanging strips, 
but I love the pineapple and this is really metallic as well which I think is really nice. Over here we've got our double sink so a sink and a half and then also the draining board. I want to replace this with either like a stone, marble or a ceramic sink just because I think this scuffs really easily. This came with the kitchen we ordered so yeah I will be replacing this eventually hopefully this year. And as you can see we've got like a really nice warm grey metro tile which is finished off with a chrome edge just making it look really really modern and instead of having a windowsill I've got the windowsill tile just because I thought that makes it look a bit more kind of sleek and matches in with the rest of the kitchen. I think it's just standard protocol to have some Ikea plants on your window ledge so I've got these two ones from Ikea and they're also in Ikea plant pots and this here is from Poundland and it's just a little vase and I absolutely love it and these are just some artificial flowers I've stuck in at meantime which I think look quite nice. I have tiny little accents of pink in the kitchen, not too much but I think I actually I'm going to start putting some more pink in the kitchen because I think it looks really nice. And as you'll see here our tap is also square edge just the same as our handles are. I love that square edge and I think it's really easy to clean and also looks really sharp and really modern. Over here is our family memo board so I've got Ella's reward chart up there and we've also got our calendar with any notes that we might need to do that day. And we've also got this little foliage basket which I use to hide pens in because we always need pens in the house and I hate them sitting out so this is a good wee storage solution in here just hiding them in amongst the plants. And over here we've got a little glass jar which was Fraser's grandpa's and I really like it. I don't know it's an old fashioned jar but I just think it's really nice to have something in the house that belongs to his grandpa. And we've got loads of junk in there just like pennies and bits of paper and just general rubbish goes in there. This corner here is very well used as you can imagine being a mum coffee is a must. We've got our DeLonghi coffee machine and we've also got a DeLonghi kettle. A lot of you guys asked me where this kettle is from. I got mine from John Lewis. You can also get it from Debenhams and you can always get them on Amazon as well. I'll leave some links to all the things that I've got here so that if you guys like anything you can go ahead and purchase it. Just look in my description box and I will link them all for you. I think there's some little things that always make your house a home and this here was a gift from my mum and it says fairies meeting place and it's just like a little rock. I really like it and I think things like this to have in your house little keepsakes it's just really nice because it reminds you of your friends and your family so I've got that sitting over next to my coffee machine and because this area gets really messy we went for a wipeable roller blind just because there's splashes from washing your hands washing dishes and I didn't want to get something that was going to be really light and then you weren't able to clean it so this actually has like a kind of crock print on it I really love it it's very very subtle but it's enough to make the difference and look a bit more elegant than just a standard roller blind if you've watched any of my cleaning vlogs you'll know that under here is where my dishwasher is. I don't know how parents do it without a dishwasher. We absolutely need one and it's a big one that we have. And then in this cupboard here is where I keep all my cleaning stuff. As you can see I've got little baskets here. It looks a bit messy but it's really not. It's quite organised. It looks like a bit of a rabble in here but to be honest it's actually showing up terrible on camera. I've got two little baskets and it's got all my products in it just like sprays and then floor cleaner and then I've got all my wipes in here just sitting at the side so I can easily just pull them out. I reorganised all this a couple of weeks ago but I think all the bags in the back there are making it look a little bit untidy but I suppose everyone's cleaning cupboard is quite like this isn't it? Above my tea and coffee station is where I keep all of the tea that coffees, herbal teas, cups, mugs, glasses, all that kind of stuff. So all my glasses and mugs are in here and also wine glasses, not that they're out too often, but I've got everything in here. And then in this cupboard here I've got all of my coffee, tea and sugar canisters. I've also got special coffee, I've got some honey, I've also got any spreads I've got like peanut butter, almond butter, and in here I've got all of my herbal teas. This one's got some peppermint tea and it's also got some jasmine tea in there as well. I've also got my two Joe Wicks books up there, the Lean and 15 books, both the red and the blue one. And I've got a metal jug which is used for making coffees if you want to steam your milk to make a nice posh latte. And then in this bottom cupboard is where I keep all of the kids' stuff. So this is like bottles, plates, storage pots, all the things that are just a nightmare to store. So I've got storage baskets in here just to try and make a bit of a difference. So in the back of this cupboard I've got two separate storage boxes. In this side I like to keep any tubs or any of Ella's juice bottles and then on the other side I keep Charlie's sterilised bottles. Here as you can see I've just stacked two or three little bowls because they don't really need much more than that. 
that one also goes in there. <laughs> I've got a couple of loose lids here that I need to put away. Also some plates. In the back here I've got my huge big picnic set which is like four big bowls that are plastic and then four big plastic plates. I need to store them in here and then I also just throw things in like water bottles or like insulated mugs just because they're the annoying things that are hard to store. I've also got a wrapped up bib there ready to go. I've got the Annabelle Caramel winning book and I've got Charlie's Pottage here in this little jar. I don't know about you guys but I just absolutely love the look of metro tiles. I think they're so modern, they're classic and they're just never going to date. I love the colour we went for as well with the grey. It was between that and a sage colour which I do still like but I absolutely love the grey tone that we went for because I feel like it goes with this room so well. As you can see here we went for a ceramic hob just because I didn't want the faff of cleaning a gas one. And plus I just think that the ceramic one is easier to work with. I know a lot of people say they prefer gas, but I've never known anything different from ceramic apart from when I stayed at home with my mum. But I know that's the part of the cleaning she used to absolutely hate because it's so much fuss to clean all the parts she needs to take off. So having just one surface that I can clean just with one wipe is so much easier and more practical for me as a busy mum. On here you can see that we've got one of these nice chopping boards. I've just displayed this one out because it's something else to store away. And also I think it looks really nice because it is kind of autumn. I've displayed a couple of my kind of autumnal candles out there. I've got this little pineapple one which is from Primark. I've also got this little pineapple ornament which is from Poundland and I've got a Wickford & Co gingerbread candle burning which I absolutely love their candles. You pick them up in home bargains really cheap. I think they're about $3.99 and they last for ages. This is a really good chopping board as well. Fraser picked this one up in Lidl. When we were designing our kitchen one of my absolute must-haves were pot drawers just simply because I think pots really untidy and they're never in a good enough place to store properly. So I got myself some pot drawers and also a cutlery drawer. Our cutlery drawer is a bit wild. We have a half of it when it's really organised and half of it where it's just all junk and I think everyone's is generally just like that. In this drawer I've got all my bigger pots and pans, also like my sieve, colander and then in the bottom drawer is where I keep things like my steaming unit, also another couple of chopping boards. I've got a fruit bowl here which I don't use anymore. I actually use this if you're having a Chinese to put prawn crackers in. I've got some ice cream bowls there and then also all of my spare tea towels in there as well. We just got this really simple extractor fan as well which has also got a bit of light on it which I like to use at night time. And as you can see we've got Charlie's Perfect Prep displayed out just purely because we use it all the time, literally every other couple of hours. And who doesn't have a perfect prep if you're a parent and you're bottle feeding? We use this all the time and because it's white we just keep it out. These right here are a new addition to the house and they are cereal dispensers. Again, because I love a storage solution. I think that these are such a fab idea. I picked them up from Amazon and they came really quickly on the delivery. I think they were supposed to be about £50, but I got it in the sale for about 16 and I absolutely love them. I think they go in through our kitchen really well. Again, all the products like this, I will leave linked for you in my description box so you can go and check them out. I've also got these three little cute succulents from Ikea because they bring a little bit of blush pink into the kitchen and also the green lifts the kitchen up a little bit and gives us a little bit of colour. And here I've got my matching DeLonghi toaster which matches the kettle. I absolutely love this. I've wanted this for years and I'm so glad that I've now got it. It's a four slice toaster which as a family of four we definitely need now. We've also got under cabinet lighting which I think just brings a kitchen to life. We absolutely love this feature in our house and we use it all the time. Especially at night time when we don't want it to have a harsh light. It's just a nice dim light to go in and make a cup of tea when you're sitting watching the telly. A really fun feature we've got in our kitchen is that we've actually got lights underneath the kickboard. So we can make them go any colour we want. We can go blue, green, red, purple. Or if we're having a party and we want to go really crazy, we can always go party mode. It's not often we use them, but Ella absolutely loves it when we do turn them on. She thinks it's like a party in the kitchen. So that's the end of my kitchen tour, guys. I hope you really enjoy watching it. Like I said, this is going to be the start of a house tour series. So please be sure to check out that playlist when I link it in my description box. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!